Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode here on the channel. Today we're talking about the changes in training going forward as we enter a new training block post Paris, post 2K at the Indoor World Rowing Championships just this past weekend. But before we do that, a lot of people have been asking where do I get myself one of those custom Yam Squad all-in-ones? Well, they are available on yamsquad.com. I'll put a link in the description to the all-in-ones if you want to order one. The pre-order has been reopened for a few days because a lot of people have been asking where to get one. I've been testing them out for a few weeks now and I think we've settled on a really good design and they're really comfortable. I wore mine in Paris just as the final sample and I'm hoping to get everyone who's ordered one so far, get them out as soon as they get to me and the people that will order them in a new pre-order get them to you as quick as possible. But now, on to the changes in training. Well, we'll start with what the training was like pre-Paris, gearing up for the 2K. Well, we decided since it was a relatively short block of training, about five to six weeks, that we wanted to really hit the intensity hard, to get as much out of myself as possible in that short period of time. So pretty much every day of training in that five to six week block had a piece of high intensity, whether it was one minute on, one minute off, four by one K, two and a half minutes on, three and a half minutes off by 15, five by four minutes, four by four minutes. There was a lot of intensity through the month of January which really meant that when it came to the intensity of the test of the 2K in Paris, I was, I was pretty ready for that intensity. Unfortunately, not quite ready for the experience as a whole that Paris was that I didn't really anticipate. And if you want to sort of see how that 2K went, there's a video that I made talking about almost stroke by stroke of the, my 2K itself. But now, the training going forward is going to be drastically different. Where before Paris, before the 2K, I had a pretty much intensity session every day. Now we're cutting that intensity way, way down, which gives me the opportunity to pump the volume all the way up to 11 and get it higher and higher. So in the last sort of six, five, six weeks, I've done over a million meters on the rowing machine itself. And now going forward, we're going to be close to a million meters in about four weeks. So the volume has definitely taken a bump up, but the only way I can do that is if we drop down the intensity. And also, like I said, pre-Paris, the volume was all on the machine, all on the rowing machine. But now in the new training block, there is finally some water time scheduled in. Oh yeah, so now, as I have said previously, rowing is a rowing sport and we finally get to get onto the water and get rowing on the water. And there's been a couple of things that have sort of hindered the progress of the water rowing. One of the biggest ones was, it's we're going to target the 2K indoor rowing championships. The indoor rower, the erg, was the focus so we felt that with the short period of time we had, the focus had to stay as sharp as possible on the rowing machine. So by factoring in some outdoor, some on the water rowing sessions, we felt it was taking away the benefits of getting on the machine since the time period we had was so short. But now, post Paris, since the next goal is unknown or a bit further away at least, we have a longer training block where we want to get on the water and the goals going forward will be heavily water related rather than indoor rowing machine related as we approach spring and summertime, fingers crossed we get on the water for some races. So I need to get myself back up to scratch on the water to be able to compete there. Another big thing of not scheduling in the rowing sessions was the access to boats. Well, absolutely amazingly, Hudson have organized or, or allowed me to borrow one of their Hudson singles, which I'm picking up later today. And hopefully you guys can come along with the journey and that'll be after our little chat this afternoon. 
So I'm really excited to go get that and then go get that on the water. But unfortunately, a little bit nervous because the last time I was in a single was on the vlog. And that would have been in the first season, which was 2018 summertime or spring summertime. So it's been a long, long time. And even then, when the, the peak of my single career during that summer, my single sculling wasn't fantastic. So the strategy going forward rowing wise, we have access to a double and a pair and a single and other boats, but we'll stick to the double pair, double, double slash pair and the single. So the strategy is to get out in the double to sort of hone the sculling, get, get used to the hand movements again, and then get into the single and get the single sculling back up to scratch. So I fully expect to fall in the water at some point again. And hopefully the Yam Squad can come along with me through the journey of essentially relearning how to scull. But probably getting some pair sessions in there just to make sure that yes, I do actually know how to row and sort of keep my confidence at least a little bit up there. But that's kind of what we're doing going forward, rowing wise, and hopefully getting out in the water sooner rather than later. So we get the boat today and then it's getting on the water some point either if not this week it'll be next week and we'll see so they had the big storm going on the beginning of this week so that hindered getting on the water there so hopefully at some point within approximately the next seven days we will be on the water and let's go back to the program itself i said it was dropping down the intensity in the program to increase the mileage and the reason for that is to work on one of my biggest weaknesses and that is my aerobic base so I would say I have a pretty solid anaerobic training threshold or anaerobic base where I can operate sort of not quite flat out, but just a little bit below that for a decent amount of time. But there's there's a sort of level just below there and just above there that is not quite happy or not quite where I want it to be. So that's what we'll be working on now. If you can imagine if my aerobic base is decent, but the... Oh, sorry, my anaerobic base is decent up here and my aerobic base under there is not very good, then the anaerobic stuff's going to be a bit shaky up here. Now, hopefully this diagram and makes sense. If the aerobic base is wider, then the anaerobic base not only becomes more stable, but can also get wider too. So that's the idea of this training block. It's going to be about 8 to 12 weeks, so hopefully roughly 3 million meters will be completed, maybe sort of between two and three quarter million to three million meters on not just the rowing machine but the water as well and that's where the water rowing will come into play it'll probably drop down the mileage because it'll take me a while to be able to complete say on the erg i can do 16k in roughly an hour well it's going to take me quite a lot longer to do 16k on the water but we're doing all of our sessions timed so i might only get 10k in an hour on in a single and plus the single is a bit slower than uh, an air time. So there's that as well. So we'll see about the overall mileage. But again, the, the mileage or at least the time spent training, the sessions are going to be consistently longer rather than say, for example, the intensity sessions being half an hour, but really intense and really getting the heart rate through the roof. And that's pretty much it for how... The training is looking going forward. It's a drastic, drastic change. And basically, the reason for the changes is to... We've had a training block. And the reason for that shorter training block was Paris. That was the target. And now we're going into the training block where I would have liked to start previously, but we wanted to target Paris. So now it's almost as if we've had one beginning block to see where I, could, see where I am. And now this block is, I won't really be able to test myself much until the end of the block. So then there are a couple of intensity sessions during the each week, but there will be two intensity sessions a week rather than five or six. And so those sessions as well won't be as drastic. Like there won't be like the four by or five by four minutes where I'm trying to rate very, very high. We're looking at sort of winter training sort of tests 
like a half hour at rate 20 where you can really sort of build that that muscular endurance that I think I'm lacking a little bit as well as doing workouts like one minute on one minute off to sort of just touch into those zones where you can start to see your 2k pace to make sure it doesn't just doesn't disappear but now it is time to go get the new single I'm really excited to go pick it up and go get it and then put it in the boat bays but unfortunately we won't be boating today but that will be it for today's chat so let's go get that new single oh yeah and it's an absolutely beautiful day I'm very excited to go pick up the boat so let's get to it yeah. and the boat has arrived oh yeah so we'll get it off the trailer get it in the boat shed boat house Nice and safe. Look at, just look at this van. Look at this van. Absolutely fantastic. So let's get this boat off. Oh yeah. the boat is on the rack but I'm not going to show you the boat itself the lovely lovely single until I actually get to go out in it get it set up and get it rigged ready to get out on the water awesome to finally get a boat so that I can get on the water a lot of you have been asking why why so much on the erg and like I said partly because I didn't have a boat and now I do not really any excuse so Got access to a double slash pair, access to the single, and we're going to be getting on the water more as we head through into this big training block, like I said. But now that will be it for today's episode, Jam Squad. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Just a little bit of a chat or a big bit of a chat about sort of steps going forward, and really excited to see what effects this sort of big concentrated block of training has at the end of it. But as always, Jam Squad, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode for quite a lot of mileage. Oh, yeah.